Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope of similar right triangles. This is standard 8.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got two right triangles and take a look. They're sharing the same hypotenuse. It's just a straight line. So it makes sense that the slope is going to be equal for both of those hypotenuses, but we can actually use proportions to figure that out. So we are gonna need slope. So remember our slope is our change in Y. That's the rise over the change X, which is the run. So we've got three different points here, P, R, and S. All right, so let's see, point P, let's just look at our X and our Y. So the first point P, and then we will look at our uh, point R. We'll look at our point T, and let's just make sure they're using them in the correct order, because obviously we can't have four correct answers. So P is an X of negative 7 and a Y of 7. R is an X of negative 4 with a Y of 3. T is an X of 2, but it gets down to negative 5. All right. So when we're looking at the change in X over change in Y, really that's uh, the change in the two Y coordinates over the change in the two X coordinates. So we can use this kind of track. So look at this first one. I've got the two Y coordinates. I've, if you want to take a look at this right here, this 3, negative 4, that's looking at that R. So it's going to start with the R, and it subtracts the 7, negative 7, right? So that's going to be my P. So it's going from R to P. R to P, okay? So let's see if it kind of moves up that way. So then I've got my negative 5, 2, so that's going to be a T, and that's going to go to 3, 4 to R. So it looks like, okay, it looks like it's going to go from T to R. So it looks like it's kind of moving in the same direction of both. Let's, let's just simplify here, right? 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus negative 7, that's like a plus 7. So negative 4 plus 7 is going to be 3 equals negative 5 minus 3, that's negative 8, and then negative 2 minus negative 4, that's like 2 plus 4, right? That's going to be negative 2. 2 plus 4, that's actually going to be a positive 6. Positive 6. Yeah, look at that. That does work. If you just double it, so f is looking pretty good. Let's see what this does. So 3 over 7 because it's supposed to be a y over x, 3 over 7 is not one of our coordinates. So they didn't even get, they didn't even get this correct. Negative 4, negative 7, take a look. These are two x coordinates right here. Okay, so that's why g doesn't work. All right, so let's see. Um, negative 4 over 3. Well, it looks like that might be r, but take a look at this negative 4. Negative 4 is my x-coordinate. That's my y-coordinate. Remember, with f, we had our y over x, and that's what our slope is. And this negative 7 over 7, it's they just flipped it. So h, that's not correct, because they just inverted the x and the y. All right, so, uh, yeah, take a look at this j right here. Negative 4 over negative 7. Those are, these are two x coordinates. It needs to be a y over x. Uh, negative 3, that's, negative 3 isn't even one of my coordinates, period. All right, so that's not going to work. So even though you've got all of these coordinates, you really need to figure out which ones are the x's, which ones are the y's. Remember, it needs to be my y over my x. My answer here is f.